Pickle, it's time for Math Tuesday. Math Tuesday. Math Tuesday. So, this this offseason, uh, we had a shakeup in the Texas high school football coaching world. Uh, most notably, uh, that we had the uh, the winningest coach in Texas high school football history, Phil Danaher, retire. He hung him up mm-hmm. after 490 wins. 490 wins. That's insane. If he had now, you know, if he had coached for one more year, it could have been at 500, which is nuts. Yeah. Uh, considering the the second place right now is Randy Allen at 434, mm-hmm. right? So he's he's lapping the field there. Uh, but Coach Danaher retired, which means that uh, kind of the whole the whole Texas high school football landscape, as far as winning as coaches are concerned, kind of got uh, a bit of a shift. And by the way, he's he's not alone. There were other co- uh, high you know uh, other big time coaches who retired. Ross Rogers, mm-hmm. uh, who has 260 wins down there. Brian, he retired. Hal Wasson retired after uh, at Course Can after I believe 30 something years. Uh, he retired. Uh, a lot of big time coaches. Todd Dodge, obviously, with two. 233 uh, wins uh, retired, hung them up. And so we do have a new look for the leaderboard. This has been a leaderboard that I would need to know as far as active coaches are concerned. Uh I would need to know when Coach Danaher took over the top spot. Um, I'm sure, I guess, Jim Streety was probably in first for a while, or at least actively, stuff like that. But like, which number surpassed that? Yeah, when did he surpass that? Basically, like, I guess when Coach Streety retired and he kept coaching. Mm-hmm. But in any case, it's kind of there's there. It's always been a list that starts with Coach Danaher, and then normally after that it's Coach Allen and stuff like that. Well, now we've got a new top ten, mm-hmm. a new top ten most winningest coaches, active coaches in Texas high school football. Uh, entering the 2022 season. There are three guys who are members of the 300-win club. Mm-hmm. Randy Allen, of course, is the winningest active coach, 434 wins, and counting is the only member of the 400-win club, one of three. It's him, Coach Danaher, and then uh, G.A. Moore. Uh, Denny Faith uh, at Albany at 330 wins, uh, checks in at number two on the active list. He gets a bump up uh, with Coach Danaher retiring. Uh, and Reginald Samples, who, of course, broke the 300-win uh, barrier last year, becoming the first black coach to do that, uh, is there at 311. We are going to have some history this year, almost certainly. I have a hard time believing Dallas Christian is going to go 2-8. and eight. Right. Uh, Mike Wheeler. Mike Wheeler, the longtime coach there for the Chargers of Dallas Christian, is almost certain to reach the 300-win plateau there. He's at 297 uh, in his illustrious career there at the private school ranks. Larry Hill at Smithson Valley is at 285. Uh, if they have a great year, yeah. he can get to 300. Uh, it, it, but it, he, it would take a it would take a state championship. Take, a state, take, take pretty close state championship, yeah. Uh, but uh, but Coach Hill there is at uh, th- th- 285. Tim Buchanan is at 267. I thought this was interesting. Tim Buchanan and Jason Herring have the same number of wins. Uh, wow. 267. Yeah, uh, two Coach of the Buchanan. most like decorated programs in the last decade. And Coach H- uh, C- Coach Herring, and you talk about doing it at different levels between 5A uh, and 2A. Both of them sitting at 267 wins. Jimmy Thompson, now at Dawson, is at 251 wins. Uh, he's right there uh, checking in at 8th. Uh, Mark Kiroff, who, of course, led Fall State to a state championship game uh, last year. His win over Mart in the semifinal was his 250th career win. He's sitting at 250. And then Jerry Bomar at Grosbeck is at 245. If you're interested, right on the outside looking in is Jerry Burkhardt at Richland Springs. So I believe he's at mm-hmm. two. he might be at 244. He might be like yeah. be one win behind uh, Jerry Pomar, uh, and then it's Gary Joseph at 241 uh, from, of course, from Katie. Richard Barrett's 239. Uh, Sam Harrell uh, is at 226, uh, and then Todd Rogers at at, uh, at Argyle at 221, and so on and so forth. So that's that's kind of the new list of the most career victories among active coaches. Uh, a, a chance at a few different of the uh, of the milestones this year. A, a cool little personal thing, I guess, for for just literally me here. But um, I did the interview with Coach Allen immediately after he got his 400th win, mm-hmm. and I also did the interview with Coach Samples immediately after he got wow. his 300th win. So that's a cool little cool little nugget. <laughs> Are you going to go to Dallas Christian's third game of the year? Uh, might have to, so. might have to send might you out there. Might have to do I mean, that. you're pretty much magic. I was going to say, I'm missing Coach uh, Denny Faith, but I have interviewed him before. And, and so, <laughs> and so there you go. There, that's a, that's a, what the the new active list looks like. Obviously, with some shakeup at the top and some some guys dropping off because of their retirement, uh, no longer active. But that didn't stop there. No, I wanted to come up with something much, much dumber. Okay. 
And by dumber, I mean, oh, everyone talks about the most wins. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. But that what also about? doesn't mean like the percentage no, wise. No, absolutely not. That you know, Phil Danaher had a fantastic career at 490, 490 games. Mm-hmm. But like, I believe he also lost like uh, uh, you know two hundred and twenty games. Yeah, 200, 215 games around. That. I don't have the numbers in front of me. Which is still an unbelievable Maybe percentage of wins. But yeah. I mean, he's yeah, got an unbelievable still a lot of percentage games. <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, he's coached a lot of games. It's, it's just a measure of longevity. Mm-hmm. That's like that. So I want to look at this. This is the active list of the coaches with the fewest career <laughs> losses. Okay? Dude, now, obviously, insane. there's a couple of guys here, most of one guy at the top, who has done it for multiple years. Mm-hmm. Daniel Boddicker at Shiner is 42-1. and one. That is insane. And his one loss, by the way, mm-hmm. is that crazy kind of multiple onside kick a loss to Refurio in a regional final. What was it? Was that in 2019? Ago. 2019. Yeah, like it, it was like 45 to 42 or something. Yeah. It was insane. His one loss on the uh, on his career, 42 and one. He's got the <laughs> fewest losses along with the most wins. Next up are, are a bunch of guys who are coming off one one year. Uh-huh. Okay, Brad Willard to Mount Vernon mm-hmm. went 14 and one, which was Legend crazy. Of the state semifinal. He's got 14 and one record, the fewest losses. The only other active coach with one loss is Giovanni Gonzalez's Carrizo Springs. And talk about something that flies under the radar. For sure. (laughs) For sure. He was uh, sparked a huge turnaround there uh, at at Carrizo. Then you get into guys with two wins. And these are the only four uh, active coaches uh, with two career losses. Ben Bittner at Corpus Christi Veterans Memorial uh, led uh, led them to a 12-2 record. Clint Fuller. Out there, Kilgore led the Bulldogs to an 11 and 2 record. Moses Patterson down in the Rio Grande Valley led McAllen Memorial to an 11 and 2 record. And then Leon Paul yep. at Lancaster went 10 and 2 uh, in his first year there uh, with Weibo. Um, and and I thought this was interesting. Now I did this last year. Uh, I pulled up. I had all the data. Let me see if I can pull it up right now. I had all the data, all the all-time coach data among Texas high school football coaches. And and before last, before this coming or this past year in 2021, uh, there were a grand total of uh, one or uh, 13,466 coaches who had coached in Texas, coached a game in Texas high school football. And among them, I believe there there are a handful who do not have a loss. Basically, they had one. Now, almost all of them, in fact, not almost all of them, all of them are very old timey coaches. Mm -hmm. Like, we're talking coaches in like the 19 teens who like coached for one year. They went like seven and oh, and then he (laughs) went off to war. You know, like. I do remember, I remember that segment last year. Yeah, there were a number of coaches there who, who, uh, who had their, in fact, there are a grand total of. Uh, 48, 48 coaches who, who have never lost a game. But like, some of these guys uh, in in our database, they're just known as like Professor Grimes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Coach Hayes, um, Nelson O. Pope has never lost a game. Congratulations to him. The only coach, the winningest coach <laughs> as far as never losing a game, is Frank Flack, who is nine and zero all time. I'm gonna find Coach Flack. Where did Coach Flack coach? We're, I'm gonna look this. This up would be such a good troll if you like. If you were Steph Frank or Flack <laughs> was the head coach at Menard in 1922. He went 9-0 and goes, done. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, saying, I need – we need Steph to do that. We need Steph to get a head coaching job. Just go, you know, 8-8 eight and eight – and, well, I guess, yeah, 9-0 and, oh and just be done. Yeah. That's it. Call uh, it quits. And he's like, okay, I'm back to writing. Yeah. Uh, there is, by the way, if you're interested, the, the coach with the most losses in Texas high school football history – is Rufus Hyde. Rufus Hyde, let me find this. Uh, Rufus Hyde, uh, Hyde was the coach at North Dallas from 1941 to 1970. Uh, he rang up a career record of 110 and 217 over the course of 36 years. That is the most losses uh, in, in, in a Texas high school football career uh, is, uh, is, is with Coach Hyde. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, the fewest <laughs> career losses. Congratulations to Daniel Boddicker of yeah. Shiner, who is rocking a 42-1 and one, uh, winning percentage. My guess is that if you were to put a minimum of, like, multiple seasons on it he's the winningest coach in texas high school football history from like a percentage perspective oh yeah yeah gotta be there's right 
I would be baffled if not. I don't think there's any way around it. Mm -mm. Anyway, there's Math Tuesday. Math Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.